Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wonderful session of Diabetes Day Health and Wellness Campaign 2022's online cooking show brought to you by the Asian Medical Students Association of University Putra Malaysia. It is a pleasure meeting all of you today. The ceremony will commence shortly. Before we begin the talk session, here are a few important announcements and we hope for your attention. Dear audience, the QR code and Google form link will be provided at the end of the talk. Please fill it in within 10 minutes to record your attendance. Secondly, please like and give us some reaction throughout the talk show to show your support to our speaker today. Third, you do not need to put your name and matrix number in the YouTube live chat. Finally, Please follow and subscribe to AMSA UPM's social media accounts as mentioned in the chat box. Your cooperation today is much appreciated.
Good evening, everyone. We proudly welcome you to Diabetes Day Health Campaign 2002, organized by AMSA UPM once again. Greetings, I bid to the committee board of this program and also to the beloved participants. The Asian Medical Students Association of UPM is back, at, back with another fever session of Cook for a Better Life, the online cooking show. We are happy and thrilled to announce that we are collaborating with the Dietic Department of Hospital Pengajar of University Putra Malaysia. Before, before we begin today's session, let me welcome Muhammad Sharir bin Muhammad Sanib to recite the du'a. May our session be blessed. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma ya Allah. On this blessed night, in conjunction with the online cooking show, we beseech thee and grateful towards you in favor of all the infinite blessing to us, your humble servant, to life in safe and prosperous life. We seek your blessing for a flawless progress of this event from the beginning till the end. We seek your guidance to steer clear of events that will detrimental the progress of this event. Ya Latif, Ya Rahman. Please bless us with your taufiq and hidayat. Please guide Musti Putra Malaysia to greatness, peace, glory and prosperity in this world and the year after. Make us a responsible intellectual. Grant us with available knowledge that will be beneficial to mankind in order to gain your mardatillah. Make us your righteous servant that followed your comments and neglect the sinful act. Please forgive us for our wrongdoing. Rabbana alika tawakkalna wa ilaika nabna wa ilaika masir. Rabbana atina fi dunya sana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina azab al-nar. Wa salawam wa ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi wa sallam. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbi alamin. Thank you very much, Mr. Sharil, for his prayer recitation. So, without any further delay, let us get into the session. Before that, Let's enjoy an exciting promotional video about the Asian Medical Students Association. Association reaching and the oldest Malaysian Medical Students Association established in 1983. AMSA Malaysia has nurtured future doctors to be to disseminate knowledge, undertake creative vocations, conduct community services and foster new friendships. Now, AMSA Malaysia has blossomed into a member-based, non-profitable, non-sectarian, and non-political organization. With friends and members present countrywide, AMSA Malaysia has new offshoot spreading, which are public relations and alumni, academics and research, Multimedia and Publicity, Public Health, and the Asian Medical Students Exchange Program, AMSEP. The fundamentals routine AMSEP Malaysia for its sustenance to this day are knowledge, action, and friendship. Follow us on our social media at Facebook and Instagram. Stay tuned to AMSA Malaysia. Viva AMSA, building bridges, sharing dreams.
Now, allow me to explain about the flow of the session to all of you. This program will be kicked off with the energetic yet informative cooking show that will be conducted by Puan Nuliana Binti Naharudin, Chief Clinical Dietitian from Hospital Pengajar University Putra Malaysia, together with Muhammad Muhaimin bin Muhammad Azlan, final year dietics student from University Putra Malaysia. We will be presenting to you with a pre-recorded video of the cooking show prepared by the Diabetics Department of UPM. Hope you all enjoy it. Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. My name is Mohamed and I will be your moderator today and welcome to our demo cooking uh, from organized by AMSA as well as the Dietetics Department uh, from HBBM or Hospital Pengajar University Putra Malaysia. So I am very very proud to announce that we have here Malena which is uh, which will be our special guest uh, guest chef who is also a senior dietitian from HPUPM. So uh, hello assalamualaikum Puan, how are you? Waalaikumsalam, I'm fine Mohamed, how about you? I'm, I'm good, a bit nervous. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, uh, so basically, uh, can you explain to the audience what are we going to do today? All right, today uh, we are going to do some uh, cooking uh, uh, cooking demo eh? uh, in terms of how to cook a snack. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I believe that most of the patient, a diabetic patient, they do not know in terms of what are the alternative, a healthier version of snack that they can have. So today we were going to have uh, a cooking demo in terms of uh, food for snack. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, so definitely. Um, I think um, what what we have to consider, like uh, my question is like, what factors that we have to consider when we are trying to uh, design or basically create a menu or snacks for diabetic people? All right. So usually uh, in diabetic, eh, uh, we have to refer to the individual, the patient eh, as an individual. So uh, I will recommend those diabetic patients to come and see a dietitian to do a very individual menu planning for them to have uh, whether how much they want to eat and what are the alternatives of snack that they can have. Eh? So basically, what I mean, when uh, talking about snack for diabetic patient, uh, some of them uh, are required to have snacks, but with a very limited carbohydrate. Yeah? Uh, so, carbohydrate should be calculated because you know that diabetics sometimes, uh, based on the medication, whether, uh, for example, like for insulin, certain insulin, they, uh, they do not require a lot of carbohydrate during their snacks. Uh, mm -hmm. So, if they don't allow to have a snack with a carbohydrate, so basically they need to have a snack uh, with a protein or, uh, or fat. Huh? So basically, for today, uh, we will actually um, show you some uh, snacks that can uh, uh, give you around one to two exchange of carbohydrate. Yeah, One or two exchange is equivalent like, for example, one or two slices of bread. Okay, okay. so uh, another thing with diabetic patients, uh, the alternative snacks that we uh, will encourage them to have if to have a complete imbalance. Mm -hmm. yeah? So the snack should actually not from the carbohydrate alone, should, together, uh, should have together with the protein, eh, fiber, and uh, the healthier version of fat. Eh, so they can actually uh, give a slow response to the blood glucose. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think today, uh, I think we can actually give you some uh, alternative that we uh, limit in terms of the carbohydrate. Uh, so, Make sure that your snack uh, is a complete and balanced. All right. Mm. So basically, just to recap, uh, for the carbohydrate, it really depends on uh, individual. Yes. So it's uh, basically it's individualized care. Mm -hmm. And for the second tip, it's uh, all about uh, complete and balanced meals. Yes. Basically. Yes. All right. Okay. That's um that's quite easy to understand. Yeah. All right. Uh, so before uh we begin, maybe you can um. Explain like what is the first menu that we are going to make today? All right, so we have uh, several recipe for today. Oh, uh, okay. For uh, uh, we are focusing on snack uh, mm -hmm. uh, food. So basically, uh, one of it we start with a popiah basa. Popiah basa, I love it. All right, so popiah basa, I think is very unique because we can actually limit the carbohydrate. I see. Ah, uh, okay. because uh, popiah basa, you can really 
combine with a, a, a fi high fiber food and, and then put some protein inside. So it will be a very well balanced uh, alternative for a snack. Yeah, so basically mm. you have the carbohydrate from the popia skin. Yes. And then the protein from the egg. Yeah. And what, what is this? A peanut. Peanut. Uh, right. So peanuts and also the egg will actually contribute uh, a little bit of protein. Uh, and then we have an ingredient like, for example, uh, cucumber, carrot, and also some kuang mm -hmm. as a fiber. Okay. All right. All right. So the carbohydrate only come from the kulit. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So can we start? Yeah, sure. But All before right. that, maybe we can uh, list out the ingredients so that uh, uh, the audience know. Uh, so basically, we have popia skin. Yeah. And then we have egg that is already cooked and it is cooked as an omelette. Mm -hmm. And then we have roasted and um, what do you call it? Like crash peanuts. Crash peanuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then we also have cucumber, carrots, senkuang or hikama. And lastly, this is the popia sauce basically. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, looks fairly simple. The, the ingredients look very easy to uh, attain from like um, just regular stores. Yeah. Yeah. So snack is usually we need some, uh, we have lack of time, right? Yeah. Prepare, uh, for our snack. So we need something that very easy to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. we don't want it to be too complicated. Yes. All, right. All right. Okay. So maybe uh, you can show the first step All to right. making popia basa. Right. Um, let's go. All right. Okay. So now, uh, where are you first? Okay. So you can take one All right. of popia, split popia. All right, very simple one. This one, I think you can actually buy it from the supermarket, right? Mm -hmm. The Philip Popia. Or if you want to do it yourself, so it's better. Okay. okay. So the first one, you have, you have your Philip Popia. And then you have this uh, sauce uh, uh, sauce for Popia sauce. But I already combined with uh, some peanut inside it. I see. Okay. okay. All right. So to give the crunchiness. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can have around a uh, half to one tablespoon of teaspoon. this sauce. Is yes, it a teaspoon? teaspoon. Okay, yes. Right. Okay. So okay, just spread it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Not that much. Yeah. Okay. And then just to give the taste and the crunchiness to our uh, popia butter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we can put our uh veggies okay mm -hmm. so i think i will i will layer with the omelette first huh? it's up to you you can start with cucumber you can start with uh senkuang. it's all uh, up to you all right okay, okay. so this omelette is around uh, uh half uh, half an egg yeah half is an it egg. all right okay all right and then you can have your carrots mm -hmm. okay layer it yeah, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then uh, we have our cucumber, and lastly, the sengkuang. I see. Okay. All right, and then right. what we have to do is just yes. wrap it up. You have to roll it up. Okay, make sure it's very compact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then right to make it uh stick. You can have a glue with a touch. Hmm? Mm -hmm. so, sorry, what is it made of? Is uh, you can use any tepung. Oh, okay, uh, any all right. Tepung, any tepung. You just okay. add, uh, uh, add the water mm -hmm. to make it as a glue paste, and then just to make it stick. I see. All right. All right. Okay. okay. All right. It's it's that simple, is it? Yeah. All right. Less okay. Than five minutes. Less than five minutes, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Just cut it into uh, half. Oh, sorry, I need to put it on the chopping board. All right. Okay. 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 And then serve it. Looks very nice. I love I love the cross sectional cut here. <laughs> All right, okay. you can really see the uh, ingredients inside. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I have a couple of questions. Um, the first question is okay. I think it might be the only question. Uh, what are the difference? Uh, what are the differences between 
um, the regular popiah that we we would usually get like um, from the street vendors or maybe even like crispy popiah that we would get from um, <laughs> supermarket as compared to the ones that we are making currently. Yeah, I think uh, the uniqueness with the uh, popiah is in terms of the lack of carbohydrate eh, mm -hmm. because we, well, the carbohydrate will only come from the uh, Kool-Aid mm -hmm. popiah. Okay, and another thing is actually we are very... Uh, I think uh, it's very flexible in terms of the filling. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we can actually add it into uh, add some protein inside, mm -hmm. add some uh, veggies, and also a healthier fat. For example, we can put all the uh, like peanuts. Eh? For example, you can use also like olive oil as a spread uh, or avocado as a spread. Mm -hmm. eh? So this combination will help in terms of diabetic patient because when you have a carbohydrate together with the um, veggie with the protein then it will actually slow down the glucose response in your uh, blood glucose response i see yes okay. all right okay uh, mm. so uh, how much um, is the recommended serving size like for the diabetic people all right so uh, as I mentioned before, it's mm -hmm. really up to the individual. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of them can actually uh, have around one exchange of carbohydrate only. Mm -hmm. So this one is equivalent to one exchange I of see. carbohydrate. I see. All right. Uh, so if I think it's it's uh, it can you can be very full, right? Yeah, it's, it's quite filling. It looks quite filling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's actually very uh, 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 you can feel very full, and then it's very. Uh, unique in terms of the combination, you can have lots of veggie inside, and it's very delicious as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to try it actually. But like, before we try it, we have another snack that's coming soon. So, uh, we'll be back after the break. Bye.
we are back from the break. So just now we were making popiah basah. Yes. So now what are we going to make? All right. So can you make a guess based on the ingredient in front of you? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> right. So today we will actually uh, introduce some Middle East recipe, mm -hmm. which is called as hummus or hummus lah. Some people mm. say it's hummus, something hummus. hummus. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. So basically, this recipe is uh, suitable for a uh, snack because it's very simple and also healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all right. You want to know in terms of the ingredients? Okay. So the ingredient is. Like Chickpeas, uh -huh. and garlic, and then uh, olive oil, and also a lemon. Juice. All right, okay. And what are we eating the hummus with? Because it seems like we are going to blend it, and it's going to look like a dip. So, what yeah. do we usually eat it with? Right. So it's a dip, of course. But mm -hmm. of course, when you talk about a, for a snack for a diabetic patient, so we have to limit in terms of the carbohydrate. So I that's see. why we will encourage. Uh, to dip the hummus with some veggies. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So now All we right. will have a carrot and also celery. Yeah? So uh, try to limit in terms of the carbohydrate because uh, a lot of carbohydrate will actually give some impact to your blood glucose. I see. Okay. okay. So usually people would eat it with bread, I believe. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, in comparison for diabetic people, it may be better for them to eat it with some vegetables. Or, yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. So, so can we start? All right. Yeah, sure. Okay. So for this chickpeas, yeah, so basically you need to soak it for uh, an overnight and then okay. after you soak, you can boil it until soft. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is already boiled and uh, already uh, soaked for uh, overnight. Mm -hmm. yeah? okay. So it's very soft right now, then you can just put inside your food processor. Right. Okay, so it's about uh, one cup. Yeah. Of okay. uh, legumes. Eh? This uh, chickpeas is considered as a legume. Eh? All right. So, this, this chickpeas. What are other examples of legumes? Yeah. Uh, this one, hummus, of course, they use uh, chickpeas. But okay. other legumes uh, uh, that also encourage for diabetic patients to have, uh, for example, like uh, dal, mm, and then uh, the the uh, green bean, uh, mm -hmm. red bean. Uh, so those are uh, in a, a group of legumes. Okay. okay. So put some barley. This uh, about two cloves. Mm. Okay, two cloves of garlic, and then you have some uh, lemon juice, around one tablespoon. Okay. Uh, it's up to you whether if you want to uh, this one to be your sour, then you can put more, right? And then olive oil. Yeah. So this is the fat sauce, mm -hmm. yeah? the healthier right. version of fat sauce. So I think it's around uh, one and uh, one and a half uh, tablespoon right. of olive oil. Yeah? Okay. Healthier version of uh -huh. fat, is it? Yes. So uh -huh. um, like when looking back at popia basa, I guess the healthier fat would be the peanut, is it? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So in this, this case, it is, is olive oil. oil. I see. All, All right. right. I think we need a lot. Uh, 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 Some water. Water inside. Eh? Okay. So we try to grind it first. <laughs> Thick. Yeah. Thick, then you can just add more water. Okay. We want the puree consistency, yeah? mm -hmm. so that you can cook with the veggies. Yeah, the consistency should look like this. All right. 
Okay? okay. So if you want more smooth term, then you can grind it a little bit more. Okay. So just cook this uh, hummus inside the bowl. Mm -hmm. And then we need a, a, an olive oil for a decoration. Okay. So for one serving, I think you need half of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so just now you put one cup, was it? Yes, one, one cup of right? chickpeas. So just make some hole here. Usually this is the uh, usual uh, decoration they serve hummus. Mm -hmm. right? So they will put some olive oil at the center. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So this is your I guess that that's it. So yeah, basically, you just have to plan everything together, and you're mm -hmm. done. It's just that um, with the preparation, you have to soak the chickpeas overnight. Yes. So that's gonna be uh, slightly um, what do you call it tedious to yes. prepare. You, have, you don't have to do anything. You just put some water and then left it. Yeah. Uh, for overnight. So like maybe if uh, if you're busy with work, then maybe it's mm -hmm. good for you to like prepare. Like a batch of hummus during yes. the weekends, mm -hmm. and then you can just bring it to work. Yeah, yeah. Because you can just uh, uh, put it in the your your fridge, mm -hmm. and then anytime you, you want to serve it with your veggie, you just take it and heat it, and then you can just enjoy the hummus. All right. Okay. I yeah. guess I guess that's it. So um yeah. So it, this is hummus with carrots and also with celery, and that is for our second snack. And after this, we'll. Uh, we'll show you uh, demo cook, uh, demo cooking, but instead of like making food, we will make some drinks. So um, yeah, see you in a bit. Yeah, stay tuned. So basically, before that, we have prepared uh, kopi abasa as well as hummus. Hummus, yes. So now, uh, maybe we should prepare something uh, besides food. We should prepare some drinks uh, that is suitable for diabetic patients. So uh, previously, I've always thought that for diabetic people, they're not supposed to drink uh, something that's very sugary or very yes. high in carbohydrate. So are they supposed to basically like only drink plain water? Not necessarily, because a diabetic patient, uh, of course, they can enjoy their favorite drinks, mm -hmm. eh? but they have to be cautious in terms of how many sugar they put it inside the uh, drink, or you ca they can actually limit in terms of the, uh, you can give uh, uh, some alternative in terms of the sugar inside the drink. I see. Mm. So basically, we have to modify some of our favorite things yes. to fit mm -hmm. um, the, basically, uh, the nutrition or what it needs for diabetic. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. So okay. Let's say we are going to make teh It is one of Malaysia's most favorite drink for mm -hmm. mama, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we modify it to be healthier? All right. So today, uh, we have one recipe that is suitable for a diabetic patient, uh, because we modified certain thing inside the teh tarik. So of course, those who really love teh tarik so much they can still enjoy but of course it's not the same as the teh tarik from mama lah yeah. all right okay so now uh what i mean i have already prepared you some uh the, the ingredient for our teh tarik special uh -huh. teh tarik i need you to do teh tarik for me today okay. all right okay, okay. <laughs> all right so uh today i think at the moment uh if you love teh tarik with uh, milk, huh? mm -hmm. uh, the issue is actually the condensed milk will have higher in sugar. I see. Yes, yeah. Right. So that's why uh, we are really not encourage uh, a diabetic patient to have frequent intake of the tarik mm -hmm. because of the condensed milk. Huh? Okay. Because condensed milk high in sugar. So now, uh, what we have to modify is actually the condensed milk. Huh? Mm -hmm. You, uh, one of the alternative you can. Uh, uh, Cut down the condensed milk and then uh -huh. replace with the evaporated milk. Okay. okay. But this one, more healthier version uh -huh. because you really replace the milk with a diabetic specific formula. 
Okay. All right. So diabetic specific formula, you can always find it in the pharmacy. All right. It's suitable for diabetic because it's low in GI. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So now uh, I, I think we can start. You know what I mean? Right. It, uh, uh, we uh, have to prepare the tea first. Uh, usually, I know everyone know how to put, uh, how to prepare the tea. The tea. Mm -hmm. You just have to boil the water and then put some uh, sachet of the tea. Mm -hmm. uh, and then... Uh, Let it this sit. Is, yeah. Yeah. And then this is the diabetic uh, specific formula. All right. Okay. So you can use any brand huh? mm -hmm. as long as it's diabetic uh, formula. Mm -hmm. And then you can use around half serving of it. Okay. okay? Half serving, yeah. All right. So to make it tarik, uh -huh. yeah, because we want then the, 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 the to form. be tarik and yeah. full, yeah. right? So we have to use shaker. I see. Uh, okay. Those right. who know how to tarik, then you can tarik. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't expect me to tarik. <laughs> I, I can't tarik. Okay. So now, if you uh, use a uh, shaker, okay. make it uh, foaming. So half um, serving, right? Yes, half okay, serving. Okay, so I'll just put specific formula. Okay. So compared Demo. to the uh, evaporated milk, uh, of course, uh, the sugar yes, uh, is uh, slow releasing sugar. And then uh, in terms of the fat also, it's more healthier compared to the evaporated milk. Uh. Mm -hmm. Diabetic specific formula. Okay, All so right. this is half uh, serving of diabetic specific formula, and it's just for the tea, hot tea. Let's pray that I don't spill it. Okay, so just make it like 200 ml. All right, 200 ml. Yeah. So oh. that's about, that's around here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Now it's the time to shake, shake around. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Make sure it's <laughs> All right. Okay. I think it's not tight. Right. Maybe. Maybe I need some towel. Okay. All right. Okay. I think it's because it's a bit too hot inside, so that's mm -hmm. why like all the water is spilling out. But basically. Mm -hmm. You can see the foam, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just a bit in the cup. Okay. Now you have it. All right. Foam So that's the diabetic tetaric that we were talking about. Okay. Uh, so I guess that's it. Um, so uh, to recap, so basically we prepared popia basa. We prepared our uh, hummus to be eaten with vegetables such as celery and also carrots. And lastly, we have prepared uh, our diabetic deftarate. And yeah, I guess that's it. So do you have any uh, take-home message that you want to give to our audience maybe? Yes, I think at the moment we can actually summarize that all the food that we have right now mm -hmm. is very well balanced in terms of the uh, combinations of macronutrient yeah? for mm -hmm. example like we have a limit in terms of the carbohydrate what we but we combine with some protein some veggies to add fiber and then we use the alternative for the healthier fat choices All right so for diabetic i think there is no any uh, reason why you cannot have snacks mm -hmm. yeah? but you need to actually be very mindful in terms of the carbohydrate inside your snack. Uh, you have to know how much carbohydrate that you can have during your snack. Uh, to know about that, I will always recommend you come and see the dietitian. You will plan your menu or your, uh, your uh, meal according to your requirement. All right? I so I hope they enjoy our... Yeah, I, I hope so too. Um, it seems very simple to make. Then, yeah, so maybe we can uh, put out all the food that we have prepared to show the audience. So again, uh, just to recap, this is the diabetic data rate. And then this is the hummus to be eaten with the celery and also the carrots. And lastly, let's wait for the popia. Wait. All right, okay, it's coming. So, and this is the popia that we prepared in the earlier part of the video. All right, so this is uh, the three snacks that we have prepared. So I guess that's it. So uh, I'm sure that it is easy enough for you guys to do it at home. If I can do a diabetic test, then you guys can do anything. So uh, yeah, uh, that's basically it. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.
That was such a wonderful and knowledgeable video demonstration by the panels. From the video demonstration just now, we have been informed how daily healthy food intake can impact a valuable lifestyle to the individuals. Bear in mind, junk food satisfies you for just one minute, but healthy food satisfies you for the rest of your life. Now, here comes the exciting part of the session. We are going to have a short Kahoot session with all the participants. Kindly open the Kahoot app and type in this number, Come on guys, we still have a lot, uh, a lot of stocks left.
All right, everyone. We will wait for a few more minutes until it's eight fifteen, and then we will start the show. We are just waiting for a few more uh, participants. All right, guys. It's already eight fifty. Are you all ready? We will start now. Let's go. Question one. What kind of food does the demonstration show? Most of you answer correctly. All right. Let's go to the second question. The recipe for hummus is made from the Middle East. What is the first snack that has been prepared from this cooking show? Below are the examples of legumes recommended for diabetic patients that has been mentioned, except
there are four different meals that have been shown in the Chronicle Kitchen. True or false? What is the concept of the Alright, so here comes the final question. Diabetic patients should consider about carbohydrate before prepare and taking their food. True or false? Alright, and with that, we have ended our couple session. Let's see who has one now. My days, PJJ. And congratulations to. Alright, congratulations to us. That was such an amazing session. I would like to congratulate all the winners and not to forget all the participants for your incredible incredible participation thank you for joining our kahoot session Now, we are pleased to inform you that AMSAS UPM Diabetes Day 2022 has organized a virtual fun run, which is the perfect opportunity to boost your endurance. All you have to do is track your running progress with tracking apps such as Apple Health, Samsung Health, or Google Fit, and sync it to the book app. For further guidance, do refer to the link provided in the YouTube chat box on how to use the promo codes associated with the book.app. Now, what are you waiting for? Put on your best pair of running shoes to stand a chance to prove yourself that being fit can prevent diabetes. There's a lot waiting for you, so grab this chance and let's all learn more about diabetes. attention to all participants. Now, the QR code will be projected on the stream screen for attendance purposes. The post-registration link will also be provided in the chat box of the YouTube Live. The QR code will be displayed for one minute and the link will be open for 10 minutes only. Thank you.
lastly, thank you very much for spending your precious time with us today. And thank you to all the attendees for your cooperation. Have a nice day. Kindly follow AMSA UPM on Facebook and Instagram to get the latest upda updates for us. Thank you very much. See you soon.